Hello, I'm Stephen Siciliano, principal of John Jay High School, and it is my pleasure to welcome all of you to John Jay High School's virtual commencement ceremony, honoring the class of 2020. Before we begin our ceremony, it is my pleasure to introduce senior Jessica Leff, who will sing our national anthem. So proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the of the John Jay Class of 2020 and families. On behalf of your Board of Education, it has been our pleasure to watch you grow. In recent days, while walking through my neighborhood or driving within our school district, I've enjoyed a congratulatory solidarity with families of high school graduates, thanks to the lawn signs celebrating you throughout Katona Lewisboro. I feel grateful and fortunate that we could come together today as a community to publicly honor this educational milestone your graduation from John Jay High School, part of your transition to adulthood. Over the years, we've come to know you well, not only as students, but as neighbors and as role models for our middle and elementary school students. You fully embraced high school and earned a reputation as one of the nicest and soon to be most dearly missed classes of students. It's been our pleasure and a priority to support you from the sidelines, the art gallery, the auditorium, and in recent weeks, via Zoom, as you have demonstrated extraordinary creativity and commitment to your academic, athletic, artistic, and scientific pursuits. You've carried yourselves with courage of conviction, dedication to positive school culture, and commitment to your educational endeavors. As your Board of Education, we are very proud of you today and have never been more certain of the importance and value of your education in facing today's challenges and uncertainties. The perspective of history and literature the skills you've developed in science, math, and technology, your commitment to learning and listening to one another. You have been empowered to embrace the significant and complex world that awaits you. In recent months, we have been humbled by your ability to adjust to unprecedented circumstances, by your willingness to make significant changes in the ways you live, study, and work. We're counting on your ingenuity and adaptability to help promote individual and collective public health to redress structural and interpersonal racism, to protect our planet, and not to put too fine a point on it, to change our world for the better, to ensure that humanity and human kindness prevail. I wish you could have seen the outpouring of love and support among volunteers who thoughtfully assembled and joyfully delivered your swag bags to your homes. But I trust that you felt it, and I sincerely hope this will buoy and serve to remind you, even when it doesn't look easy, that it's your people our people, students, faculty, staff, family, and friends, who can and will pull through this together. On behalf of the Board of Education, I extend our deepest appreciation to members of our staff and to our community for your dedication and support of students throughout, and especially in ways we couldn't have imagined at the start of the school year. Warmest congratulations to you, 
members of the John Jay Class of 2020 on your graduation from high school today. Very best wishes for your health and safety and the start of a happy summer. Trustees of the Board of Education, Superintendent Selesnik and Cabinet, John Jay faculty, parents, grandparents, extended family and friends, and our graduating seniors. I first wish to acknowledge that this is a radically different commencement ceremony that we are all accustomed to, but as we know all too well, these are radically different times. And yet, we are all here to acknowledge our seniors' accomplishments and conduct this important rite of passage for them. It's with deep gratitude that I'd like to thank a special team of people so instrumental in making today occur. I sincerely thank our Senior Graduation Committee for putting in all the untold hours of finding a venue where the senior class could be together safely on their special day, as well as making provision for this virtual graduation ceremony. I extend my deepest thanks to our Student Campus Congress leaders, Charlie Ostreicher, Sebastian Degenhart, and Jessica Leff. Our faculty advisors to the senior class, Patty Dente and Steve Zoller. Our clerical, Linda Bins and Barbara Seminitz. Our guidance council representative, Carlin Bocchicchio. Operations and maintenance personnel, Paul Christensen and Mike LaVoy. Our district communications specialist, Lenore Person. Assistant principal, Kim Piccolino. And especially our parent members, Liz Gebbia, Kim Tuzo, and our PTO president, Catherine Ostreicher. Thank you all so very much for everything you did to make this day possible. And while this message will be decidedly short, I would also like to thank all the staff in the Katona Lewisboro School District, those people in every role in our district at every level, K through 12, as well as our Board of Education and our district administration for all that you have done to bring our seniors to this point in their educational journey. All of you have had an influence on whom we are celebrating today. And a special note of thanks goes to our retiring teachers this year, Mr. Paul Saloon, Mr. Alex Smith, Mrs. Lucy Libertora, Mrs. Mallory Simon, Mrs. Christine Farrone, Mrs. Julie evans Kayser, and Mrs. Karen Zlotnick. All of you have made a lasting impression on our students, and we all thank you so very much for your years of dedicated service to the students of John Jay High School. And I also wish to thank the parent volunteers and the parent groups created to support and provide for our students, especially the PTO, Arts Alive, and the Athletic Boosters. Your advocacy and provisions for students have enriched their experiences and provided for them opportunities that went above and beyond. And we greatly appreciate all the parents who do the heavy lifting when called upon by the high school, whether it's serving on inter interview committees, bringing food to a potluck supper in the August heat, supplying the gingerbread houses during our annual winter wonderland, and most recently, those motivated and caring parents who created an adopt a senior program and made care packages to be delivered to our senior class along with their caps and gowns, as well as decorating the buses only about a month ago. You have all demonstrated how a community functions as a community, including making the most out of unprecedented circumstances and turning misfortune into acts of love, which in the end is the greatest and most lasting gift we can give our children and each other. Seniors, be sure to thank your parents for all that they have done. Give them a big hug today. And to our graduating class of 2020. You are a special class for so many reasons. And yet you're special to me personally since four years ago, we were all new to John Jay High School. You as wide-eyed freshman and me as your new wide-eyed high school principal. And I've had the pleasure and the privilege of seeing you grow from those early days into educated, accomplished, and confident young men and women that you are today. You know, it often takes someone else to notice and to point out for us how much we've grown. And my, have you grown. As a graduating class, you have upheld the high standards of John Jay High School through your accomplishments in the classroom, on the field, on the court, on the ice, in the studio, on the stage, and also in the community. And yet again, being selected to some of the nation's top colleges and universities that were the right fit for you. But more than external recognitions, you leave as different people, more mature versions of yourselves that have been shaped in part by the experiences of the past four years, and most certainly by the experiences of the past three months. And no, it has not been fair. But it didn't start off fair for this senior class either. As people whose journey in life began in a nation reeling from the aftermath of 9-11, living through the ever-present tragedies and concerns associated with school safety, and now graduating high school with a country and a world wondering about the right way to respond to a worldwide pandemic, historically, this class seems to have quite a bit of experience adjusting to new normals. And as I've said, it takes someone else to point out to you how much you've grown. And let me tell you further about how much you have grown. 
First, you are not helpless in the face of adversity. You have shown that you are resourceful and you will find a way to figure it out and move forward. You are also not bitter about the losses you endured this year. And you have shown how grateful that your family and friends are safe and wish those infected with COVID-19, the nurses, doctors, and other first responders on the front lines in combating this pandemic, who continue making and serving our food, and those who have lost their jobs, you wish them all good health, recovery, and peace. And you are not pessimistic about people in the future. You have shown that you are optimistic that when challenges come, there will be others who will also come to assist and help make things better. And you will pay it forward as soon as you can and lend others your helping hands. And when the answers aren't clear or the right direction isn't self-apparent, you will improvise until they are. And finally, the comedian Stephen Colbert once described improvisation as an art form to a graduating class at Northwestern University back in 2011. And I think at this time, it's entirely relevant and I share it with you. He said to them, and I'm paraphrasing, there are very few rules in improvisation, but one of the first things you learn is that you are not the most important person in the scene. Everyone else is. And if everyone else is more important than you are, you will naturally pay attention to them and serve them. But the good news is, is that you're in the scene too. So hopefully to them, you're the most important person in the scene and they will serve you. You're all following the follower, serving the servant. And you cannot win at improv. And life is an improvisation. You have no idea what is going to happen next, and we are all trying out ideas as we go along. And he finished by telling those graduates, try to love others and serve others. And hopefully you will find those who love and will serve you in return. These past few months and the foreseeable future will most definitely be a continued improvisation for all of us. And I want to thank all of our seniors and those in the community who have and will continue putting others as the most important people in the scene. And may that sense of care and service be returned to you as well, wherever it is that you are heading this fall. Thank you for being such a wonderful class and congratulations to all of you. Good afternoon. To our esteemed faculty, staff, and dedicated members of the John Jay community, we thank you for your constant commitment and support. To our friends and families, we thank you and we love you. To our fellow graduates, congratulations. My name is Charlie Ostreicher, and I am here with, our, with my co-president, Sebastian Dagenhart. We are so grateful to be addressing such an outstanding community on behalf of the class of 2020. It has been an honor to represent you all. We stand before a student body full of gifted athletes, artists, and scholars. Our class's future is certainly bright, but today we would rather spend the next four minutes reflecting on our past. While writing this speech, we took time to reminisce about the experiences that define us as a class. We entered John Jay's maze of hallways as nervous yet eager 13 and 14 year olds. Our freshman year was defined by long and boring study halls, awkward peer group interactions, and the beginnings of friendships that would support us for the rest of our high school careers. We started to worry more about what our friends were doing over the weekend and less about who was the best at recess football. Post Malone's song, Congratulations, was everyone's anthem, and we managed to spell our class t-shirt wrong. Sorry about that one. When sophomore year began, we developed a sense of belonging. We were granted our own rail in the main hallway, started taking classes that sparked our interests, and earned a spot on our first varsity sport. Everyone was talking about who was dating who, and social media started to affect our lives. For the first time, politics and the 2016 election tried to divide our class, but we would prove to be stronger than that. In the fall of 2018, we strutted through the halls as confident upperclassmen. We spent our junior year studying for the ACT and SAT, stressing over schoolwork and beginning to fear the college application process. We danced in the gym at junior prom and were faced with yet another divide, our mascot. After countless heated debates and arguments, we emerged as a proud, unified, and steadfast John Jay student body. Our coaches began to look at us for leadership, and we finally got a parking pass. After months of stress and hard work, we had high hopes for senior year and our future. For the first time, everyone was excited to return to campus in the fall 
to start their final and best year of high school. We spent weeks diligently writing and completing our college applications only to be met with a semester of angst awaiting the results. We bled purple at every game and were the loudest fans in section one. Finally, we made it to the famed second semester and were officially, unofficially done with high school. Now was our chance to develop a bad case of senioritis, get caught driving off campus, take too many free periods and make memories that would last a lifetime. Today, our chaotic, unprecedented and memorable journey comes to an official close. The key of knowledge is a symbol that represents the culmination of each of the graduated classes of John Shea. Each class is immortalized in this keepsake. We are thrilled to pass the key down to the class of 2021, adding with it the traits that define us. This graduation, our graduation, is a microcosm of who we are as a class, resilient, spirited, and dedicated. Our high school experience occurred amidst pandemics, gun violence, racial and political turmoil, and environmental issues. Yet, we are emerging as a thriving, capable, and ambitious class with so much to offer to the world. We are the class that will be remembered for the incredible resilience that we displayed, not for the obstacles we faced. We are the class to graduate under social distancing. We are the class that graduated 230 brilliant students in a parking lot. We are the class of 2020. Good afternoon, faculty, friends, and family. I'm so honored to be standing up here in front of all of you today. Or I guess I should say broadcasted to all of you. As is probably true for most, I never could have imagined a graduation where we said goodbye like this. High school graduation has been one of the few certainties of our future, where we actually knew what to expect. From when we were in elementary school, we watched family members, friends, and of course, Troy and Gabriella from High School Musical 3 graduate from high school. They stood side by side one more time and threw up their caps together, and I always just assumed that we would get that. Okay, maybe not the singing from high school, musical, but a girl can dream. But here we are in front of a mom in the safety of our cars having graduation unlike anything our creative little minds could have thought of. I think it's safe to say that, the that we, the class of 2020, had a pretty unique ending to our grand high school experience. But let's rewind a little bit. I remember coming into this school as a 13 year old that had a really high bun on top of my head, being very scared of the seniors with beards and even a few tattoos. The four years that separated me, a little girl with a bun, and the seniors felt infinite. So when everyone would tell us that we needed to cherish our time in high school because it'll go by so fast, I would roll my eyes and continue to complain about how we were stuck here for the next four years. I basically complained my way through high school. There was always something to complain about, from Riz's math test to staying after school for driver's ed and essays and homework and long days after school, and the list goes on. Throughout my four years at John Jay, I did little to none of the cherishing that everyone told me to do when I was a freshman. And that's why on March 12th, our last day of high school, I remember feeling relieved. The week leading up to March 12th, everyone was talking about when school would close and everyone said this with excitement. Then I remember sixth period on March 12th, we found out that we'd have the next day off. And we were all talking about how we had a three day weekend and how we wouldn't have to cram for our math test the next day on series. After we had our prize three day weekend, we learned that we had two weeks off from school and then a month and then two months. And then high school was just over. And that still hasn't really hit me yet. Now, I could go on and talk about all the things we lost and how awful this was, because it was awful, but that would make this speech a lot longer than four minutes. So let's talk about what we gained. Uh, we are the only grade that will ever experience what we experienced this year. And although we have lost so much, we've also gained knowledge that no other seniors in high school could gain. This quarantine has tested our adaptability to new situations. When all this began, we didn't know how we'd possibly live in a world where we had to be six feet apart from people and not go to people's houses and so on, but every single one of us adapted. From the time we were in kindergarten to now, we've been gently eased into change, but we're about to enter a time in our lives where we're going to have to adapt without our hands being held the whole time. And now we can feel confident in knowing that we'll be able to adapt to college and then living alone and then getting a job and getting a house. Next, as cliche as it sounds, we've learned how important it is to cherish our time like everyone told us when we were freshmen because you never know when it'll end. I wish I hadn't wished away high school and 
because uh, now I would take anything to have one more normal day of high school. I wish we had one more day where we walked the halls with our friends and went off campus during freeze to get coffee at Empire and laughed at lunch tables while eating warm cookies from the cafeteria. Personally, I think I'm gonna miss the cookies the most, but we're lucky enough to learn now rather than later that we need to cherish things in the moment so that we can start living our lives rather than wishing them away. Now, I would like to extend my heartfelt gratitude to all the teachers and administrators who worked so hard to make us reach the ceremony and get us all the way through this crazy year while still making it special for all of us. So thank you. And to everyone else, we made it through all the drama, the tests, the papers, the projects, the ACTs and SATs, college applications. So now move on to your next adventure. Embrace whatever comes at you because you know that you can handle it. Cherish every little blip along the way. Congratulations, guys. We did it. Before I start my speech, there are some people who I need to thank. First, thank you to all the administrators and parents who helped put this graduation ceremony together. Thank you to my teachers and coaches who always inspired me to be the best version of myself, both in the classroom and on the field. Thank you to my friends who never fail to put a smile on my face. Thank you to my sisters, Allie and Casey, for being my constant support system and built-in best friends. A huge thank you to my parents for continuously putting up with me, especially when I refuse to admit that I'm wrong, which never happens. <laughs> and finally, thank you to the class of 2020 for just being you. And congrats, we did it. We graduated. As freshmen, I don't think any of us could have expected how our high school experience was going to turn out, not to mention our senior year. I blame High School Musical for providing me with the false perception of high school life. They danced on cafeteria tables. We danced to TikTok videos. They dressed up in wildcat jerseys. We dressed up in debate attire during our freshman year. They struggled to stick to the status quo and we struggled to get our Mr. Bell homecoming shirts. Despite the many dissimilarities High School Musical has in relation to our high school experience, I believe we had at least one thing in common, our unity. As a class, we support one another when times may be tough. In a world where we are so often characterized by our differences, whether that be due to race, religion, or orientation, I am grateful that our class instead looks for the connections to bring us together. But just when we started to get used to the normal high school routine filled with heart rate monitors and cafeteria cookies, our senior year was cut short. Originally, most of us were excited to miss a few extra days of school. In addition to COVID, there was another infamous disease starting to spread, senioritis. Motivation and diligence were fading. We figured this would all blow over and senior year would be ours for the taking. I vividly remember our last day of school in AP Macro, where we were once again discussing Mr. Rosenswag's favorite subject, the coronavirus. I was arguing with everyone, saying that school wouldn't be canceled, that my senior softball season would still persist, and that everyone was just overreacting. Even now, as I stand before you today, I choose to focus on the positive. Although we may have been physically separated, the connections we have made throughout the past four years will forever bond us as a class. While we may have lost some traditional aspects of our senior year, I like to think of coronacation as a time to explore new things. For me, this means spending more time with family before hopefully heading to college in the fall, trying the Chloe Ting workout challenges, learning new recipes on TikTok, and finally binging the TV shows I never had time to watch. A couple months ago, I actually started watching Grey's Anatomy. I figured now was a better time than ever to dive into this 16 season adventure. Shout out to my mom who's also watching it with me. I'm currently on season eight, and while I'm not exactly sure if my doctor IQ has improved since watching, I love it nonetheless. The other day, one of Meredith Gray's lines spoke out to me. She said, change is constant. It's how we experience change that's up to us. Now is a time more than ever where this message is invaluable. Change is all around us. First, a global pandemic changed our sense of normalcy. Then, we were reminded that racial, racial injustice is all too prevalent within our nation, sparking further calls for change. As a class of the future, we cannot just sit by and hope that change is attained. We choose how we experience change, whether we combat foundational injustices 
or simply stand on the sidelines and let the atrocities continue. Change starts with us. This message not only applies to our current situation, but to the rest of our lives. Instead of getting wrapped up in the things we can't control, that seem to be too big for us to handle, we must take a step back and focus on what we can control. We can decide how to adapt to changes that come our way and make the best of a seemingly difficult situation. We can choose when to act, when to fight, and when to take a stand. And lastly, we can and must take charge of our own future. Right now, it's our turn to change the world. Thank you and congrats to the entire class of 2020. Good afternoon. I'd like to start by saying that I hope you and your families are healthy and safe. It is a great honor to be asked to speak to you for your graduation. Doubtless, this is not the graduation you imagined, but it's sort of fitting that the guy who teaches Netflix class, as it's sometimes called, is having a speech broadcast on TVs, right? Those of you in my series class, I expect a full analysis of the mise-en-scene of this video by Monday. I'm especially proud to speak to you, working with you, so many of you, as freshmen, juniors, and seniors. My God, I think Mariel Richardson and Liam Kirby were stuck with me for all three of those years. I'm routinely reminded how much I love what I do. You are an exceptionally decent, diligent, kind, affable, and intrepid collection of good people. And right now, right now, good people, we need you. Boy, do we need you. In fact, I'm actually not here today so much to make a speech as to make a plea. For over a decade, you've weathered exhausting intellectual expectations, tolerated outrageous demands of your time, navigated complicated and perilous social situations, and finally, after everything, rather than the celebration you were promised and deserved, you were expected to bear further sacrifice. Yet, you did bear it, because you understood that what you were giving up is all for the greater good. It may be tough for you to realize just how noble that sacrifice, sacrificing for the greater good, is, still stuck in your homes watching a graduation video instead of sitting shoulder to shoulder with your friends. But we older folks, we recognize it. We sense in you something brimming into greatness. Graduates, you already know these are outrageous and daunting days plagued with social, political, environmental, and racial disasters. Days that call for the type of adaptability and resolve, compassion, and determined force that I think maybe only you can display. So no, this is not a speech for you. It is a call to action. Those who stand up for change in the stories we read and watch often do not first recognize their potential, nor do they sometimes wish or even feel equipped to bear the burden of action. They, like most, primarily just want to be left alone to quietly pursue their own interests. Yet in every one of those stories, as we see right now, violent injustice, dire future prospects, and gross abuses of power serve as an inextinguishable call to action. And in their action, we witness from them that progress is possible. How, you say, start by questioning. Asking questions is how we learn about the world from our first words to our last. From asking me why you received the 93 instead of a 97 on your Romeo and Juliet essays, to questioning the personal and social impact of our school mascot, your willingness to confront and challenge through questions has defined who you are. Traditions, which always have this way of feeling fast and firm to so many of us, simply do not mandate your submission. And you have always known that regardless of what anyone may tell you, there is nothing more noble, human, or patriotic than to peer under the surface and ask, why? During these past few months, despite being out of school, we've learned some essential lessons. In our isolation, we've learned how necessary we are to each other. From those of you who continue to show up to work for minimum wage so that our stores would have food, to those of you who stayed in quarantine even when it felt like torture, we learned the value of sacrificing for our community. We've learned how much we live for the company of friends, loved ones, and the joy of making a new acquaintance. And finally, the recent tragic racial unrest rattling the country has taught us how urgently vital it is for us to reestablish that powerful bond of community, to take action, to support, to learn, to heal, and to rebuild a world where humanity is shared entirely. To take action against those who say, 
This is the way things are when you see deceit, intolerance, racism, sexism, or dehumanization at the core. Graduates, this is not a speech. It is a call to action. Individuals can affect meaningful change alone, but to borrow a line from another teacher from your childhood, we are only as strong as we are united, as weak as we are divided. My friends, when you come together with your courage, curiosity, and compassion, the world will tilt and shift under your standing feet. Thank you, be safe, be well, and restore our humanity. Hi everyone. I never thought that I would star in a drive-in movie, but here I am. What a crazy way to end our senior year. Although we aren't graduating in the traditional way, sitting next to our friends on a stage, we are graduating with our parents or guardians and our siblings, all of us here together, cramped in a car. What a miraculous thing that is, that we are able to be here. Because of our incredible community, we are here today to celebrate a significant accomplishment, our high school graduation. Let us not let another significant accomplishment go unnoticed, me being at a mall without walking into it. Not only does it make my parents happy, but my debit card too. Four short years ago, we flooded the hallways overwhelmed with excitement and nerves, typical of freshmen. Shorter than the rest, we stood out. I am still shorter than the rest, but at least I'm the same height as my 12-year-old sister. As bewildered freshmen, we got lost finding our classes. At sporting events, we stood so far back on the bleachers that we couldn't even see the game. By the time we were sophomores, we got the hang of things and took on bold challenges. Some of us endured AP Euro and even fewer survived. Junior year was filled with college visits, late nights, and new responsibilities. When we finally got to senior year, we were on top of the world. On our last first day of school, many of us arrived early to take pictures in the parking lot in front of the cars that we had decorated the night before. We wanted to remember how we felt and who we were with on that day. For the last spirit week, we paraded around the track during halftime with our floats, beaming as we took in the community cheering for us one last time. Our senior year was the last opportunity for many of us to perform on the school stage in plays, musicals, and concerts. We grew up together. We grew up as a community. We started a new and exciting chapter together four years ago, and now here we are graduating together. I know my fellow graduates join me in recognizing just how amazing our close-knit community is. We have impacted one another's lives in profound ways, and I know this because the memories of being together are so vivid. I have craved pulling into school in the morning and parking next to my friends one more time, even more than I've craved a late night run to Cameron's. I have missed walking to the rail, eager to talk to my friends between classes, cramming with friends in the library study rooms, eventually putting away the schoolwork to chat, passing familiar faces in the hallways, huddling under a blanket with friends, slurping cup of noodles at games. And now, as I look at my peers, I see home. The relationships we have and the community we've built are sources of pride for all of us. As graduates, we are moving into adulthood. Although we are going to be making new friends and creating new social circles, the community we created will be with us forever. I have full faith in the fact that we have learned enough from one another to allow us to thrive wherever we are next year. Everything we persevered through made it all worth it, maybe even AP Euro. But none of us would have been able to get here without the support and guidance of our community. I want to offer a huge thank you to all the school administrators, teachers, counselors, staff members, parents, and siblings for supporting all of our endeavors despite obvious and unplanned challenges. Because of you, we are all stars of this drive-in movie. Because of you, we are able to enter our adult lives truly knowing what it feels like to be a part of an amazing community. For that, I am eternally grateful. Hello to our parents, hello to my colleagues, and most importantly, hello to the class of 2020. This is to the class of 2020. Despite all the ways in which this spring has not been what you wanted or expected, not been what our country or the world wanted or expected, for the rest of your lives, the spring of 2020 will be an unforgettable moment in history, one that will be written about and studied at length. And I suspect that your class, perhaps even your generation, will be shaped by how you emerge and how you help others emerge from this time of crisis. You have learned more profoundly and at a much younger age than most of us that life does not unfold in a sequence of planned and predictable events. You have learned that our daily existence can be turned on its head in the blink of an eye. In the short run, this has been painful, but in the long run, these lessons will be gifts. 
These lessons will be gifts if that's how you nurture them. And the choice of how you nurture them is yours to make. You could choose to say that life isn't fair. I worked incredibly hard, planned and prepared, and now the very thing that I was preparing for has been taken away by forces completely beyond my control. You could decide that that's not fair. Or you could recognize that because of all the planning and preparation, you are now ready for anything, even if that anything is something completely unexpected, unknown, even scary. You are ready for it. You are ready for it if you can embrace this historic moment, and you will be ready for anything. Our need for good, caring, compassionate, and thoughtful citizens is greater than ever. The opportunities ahead to help others, to solve problems, and to better our world are endless. Are they complicated and daunting? Absolutely. Will the work reward you by nurturing your hearts and your souls without question? You will forever be the class of 2020. You are living history and you will make history. You have already made us proud and you will make us prouder and we can't wait to follow your lead. Be safe, be well, and do good. And now, Dr. Siciliano, by the authority granted me as the superintendent of the Katona Lewisboro School District, I hereby declare these seniors of the class of 2020 to be graduates of John Jay High School. Samuel Volo. Kristen Scarphone. Thanks, John Jay. Good luck to everyone in the class of 2020. Amelia Lee Egler. Thank you to my teachers, family, and friends for supporting me at my time on John Jay. Hugs! Hope Young. The last four years, we have all developed independent voices, so use them and vote. You deserve to be heard. Gabriella Madden Tuckman. Thank you, Mom, Dad, Emily, Alexa, my extended family, and friends. I am so excited to be going to the University of Miami. Annalise Burt. Congratulations, class of 2020. Floda McGrory. Congrats to the class of 2020. Remember that a trophy carries death, but memories last forever. Go Jay. Sarah Rabinowitz. Congratulations, class of 2020. Sophie Morris Suzuki. Hi, I'm Sophie. Um, I would just like to say thank you to everyone who has supported me throughout my time at John Jay High School. Abigail Dotis. William Connor Tway. Tara Jade Curran. Thank you to my family and my friends for getting me here today, and congratulations to everybody. P. Stephen Lamont II. I just want to thank all my friends, family, and teachers for making my experience at John Jay the best that it could be. Ella Blum. Charlotte Newman. Thank you, John Jay. Charlotte, can you pick me up my nephew? Emily Althals. Congrats to the most resilient class ever. Our future is so bright, I gotta wear shades. Zachary Schuberg. Hey, John Jay. I'm so glad I finally have a platform to talk about. Jessica Contillo. I appreciate everyone's support throughout the years, and I'll make everyone proud in college. Ian Gallagher. 
was a crazy way to end the year, but I wish everybody the best of luck in the future. James Alexi Tepper. Jasper Meikle. Goodbye to all my friends and teachers. I look forward to moving to the city and going to Cooper. Ava Marie Weigert. Thank you to my friends and family for making this year so memorable. Bye, everyone. Carly Laganzowski. Welcome. Olivia Unger. Thank you to my parents for always believing in me and supporting my future. Nicholas Matthew Petrella. Congratulations to the class of 2020 and thank you to my family and friends. Eleanor Emery Williams. Daniel Harry Zidemer. Ethan James Haberney. Joseph Sands. Thank you to my family, teachers, roll JJ Putt, and congrats to the class of 2020. Carmel McDermott. Congrats, everyone. I hope you have a great summer and good luck next year. Shane Martinson. Congrats to the class of 2020. Thank you to all my teachers, coaches, and especially my parents. Caroline Etlinger. My mom told me to make sure to thank her, so thank you, Mom. Natalia Fonte. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Bye, Bye everyone. Penelope Cespedes Vargas. I'd like to thank my friends and family and of course my teachers who have gotten me this far and I'm so excited to spend the next four years at Fordham. Sydney Phillips. I'd like to thank my parents, teachers, and friends. Roll Indians. Sasha Madilly. Congrats 2020. Thank you to my friends and family for supporting me all this way and good luck to everyone. Declan Moriarty Rocket. When we started. Beyond Suzuki Wolf. <laughs> Brianna Mendocino. Thank you to my mom and dad. Congrats, everyone. Gavin Fiaco. Thankful for my friends, my family, and I'm just excited to go to college in the fall. Jackson Roche. Thank you to all the people that supported me throughout the years, and special thanks to Lester Weber, who's been supporting me since kindergarten. Shadin Youssef. for an amazing year and congrats to the class of 2020. Alexandra Eileen Johnson. Thank you to my family, my friends, and all my teachers. Congratulations, everyone. Chris Martini. I would like to thank my friends and family for helping me get to where I am today. Thank you. Congratulations, everyone. Jessica Leff. Matthew Longchat Collins. Thanks to all my teachers and especially my family who've always been so supportive of me. Good luck, everyone. Audrey Bond. Congrats, everyone. We're finally done. Martin Stutman. This is not how I expected graduation to be going, but I still graduated. 
Aiden John McGrory. Congrats to everyone. I've had a great four years at John Jay, and I'm looking forward to college. Tyler Petschick. Thanks, Mom and Dad, for always being there for me. Rolling this. Evan Robert Schwartz. I'm happy to have finally graduated. Sasha Aronson. Ashley Ann Stagnary. I'd like to thank my family, my friends, and my teachers for making my high school experience special. Oscar William George Tusa. I want to say a big thank you to all of my teachers and all of the friends that I made this year. Eve Johanna Chipman. I'd like to thank everyone for making me who I am today. Gina Chiaffi. Thank you to my friends and my family. Jacob Harris Bart. Hi, I'm Jake Bart. Today I prepared a short speech for everyone. In 1803, when high school was first invented. Dylan James Murphy. Natalie Marks. Thank you, John Jay Hockey and the Athletic Department. Mackenzie Rieger. Esme Matthews. Congratulations to all my friends and the entire class of 2020. Lauren Siegel. Christian Danalo. Thank you to my family for all the help they've given me along the way. I'm really excited to become an Ursinus Bear. Edelson Ortiz Arana. Shane Jawahir. Isabella Cipriano. Thank you to my friends and family for getting me through the past four years. Jonah Lins. John Jay, it's been chill. Peace. Kate Elizabeth Gebbia. Congrats, class of 2020. Spencer Nathan Stumbo. Congratulations, class of 2020. Adeline Francesca Angelino. Jessica Joy Hooper. Thank you to all my family, friends, and teachers who've made this unusual graduation special and memorable. Brandon Blackburn. Melina O'Connor. I would like to thank my parents and my teachers. Roll Indian. Isobel Novak. I want to thank my parents, my teachers, and my friends, and everyone who's supporting me. Congrats, everybody. It's raining. Sydney Aronson. Congratulations, everyone. We made it. Morgan Johnson. Congrats, class of 2020. We did it. Juliana Duva. I just want to thank all the students and staff at John Jay High School for the last four years. Christopher Walsh. Congrats to my fellow classmates. It was a pleasure to ride alongside you. Angelina Sarami. Thank you to my friends and family. I'm so excited to go to Elon University in the fall to study a BFA in acting. Brianna Garofolo. 
Congratulations and thank you to the class of 2020. Ann Kennedy. Eliza Grace Letty. Thank you to my parents and grandparents for making me who I am today. I'm so excited to go to Tufts in the fall. Christopher Lavon Martirosian. Bye, John Jay. Jeffrey Alper. Emma Catherine Hinckley. Thank you to my friends for making high school bearable and to my family for pushing me to succeed. Thomas John Gaza. I'd like to thank my mom, dad, and all my teachers. Congratulations, everybody. Laura Fernandez. Campbell McKendry. Ava Elizabeth Goodstein. Congratulations, class of 2020. David Zimelis. John Jay, it's been a ride. Thanks for the memories. Brooke Noel Giardina. Congratulations. Kitanya Brown. Congratulations, class of 2020. Be safe and good luck. James Servey. Marielle Richardson. Ariana Ragova. Congratulations, class of 2020. Colton Doyle. Wisdom, courage, character. Hudson J. Green. Hey guys, I just wanna thank everyone who was involved with my high school experience. Johan Schechter. Gunner Lagerfeld Carlson. Lily Buckley. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Sarah Antunes. Thank you, John Jay, for my education, and thank you to my family. I'm excited for my future. Ashton Byron Tuzo. My John Jay classmates, teachers, and to my family. Congratulations and go blue. Paul Taylor Esposito. Kyle Vinsky. Thank you, John Jay. Thank you, Mom and Dad. Go Manhattanville. Rock Vataj. Kevin Michael Wanick. Faye Chandler. I wouldn't be where I am today without my friends, family, and teachers. Thank you. Jessica Helen Brandt. I want to thank my friends and family, and congrats to the class of 2020. Brandon Alex Beam. Isabella Geiner. Class of 2020, thank you so much for the wonderful memories. Jason Lawrence. Hi, my name is Jason Lawrence, class of 2020. I'd like to thank my teachers and my parents for all the support. Anna Catherine Isabel Rutherford. 
Thanks for the best four years, John Jay. See you soon, SMU. Pony up. Connor Cushing Jenkins. I want to thank everyone at John Jay for an amazing four years. Congratulations, everyone. Luis Colindres. Alexander Daring. Jackson Noy. Catherine Curry. Congratulations, everyone, and I'm so excited to see what we do in the future. Gregory Freeze. Congratulations, class of 2020. Thanks, Mom and Dad. Una Kerrigan. Thanks for all the memories, John Jay. Congrats to everyone. Rachel Alexandra Lemley. Thank you to my family and friends for being here every step of the way. Congratulations, everyone. Alexander Junquera. Thank you to all of our friends, teachers, and parents. You guys killed it. Nicholas Tobin. Thanks, Mom and Dad, for your love and support. Thanks to my teachers, and congrats to the class of 2020. Joseph Matthew Pink. Congrats to all my friends. It's been real. Andrew Sebastian Boys. I hope everyone's keeping safe, and I'm so excited for us. Colin Michael Moran. Julia Grace Gold. Congratulations, everyone. Good luck next year. Samantha Comstock. Graduation is not the end. It's a new beginning. We made it class of 2020. Michael Adam Giardina. Congrats to the class of 2020. Zachary A. Corlett. Alexandra Lee Castle. No matter where you're going after graduation, we all still have a lot left to learn. Lynn Grace Carbaugh. Hi, Lynn. Mallory Simon here. Congratulations on graduating. All the best next year. Mason DeFalco. Congrats to my friends of the class of 2020. It's been a great ride, John Jay. Sarah Parati. Congratulations and good luck to the class of 2020 on the next stage of our lives. Evan Eberto Calvez. Congratulations, everybody. Brandon Scher. James Michael Norris. I just want to say congratulations to the class of 2020 and good luck to everyone with the rest of their lives. Sharon Upal. Thank you to my family, friends, and teachers, and congratulations to the class of 2020. Jenna M. Looper. Thanks to all my friends, families, and teachers. I'm flipping out. Henry Shapiro. We did it. Thank you to everybody and congratulations. Lisbeth Cabrera Fuentes. Ben Konak. I just wanted to thank everyone who made my senior year so special, except for Corona. You didn't help much. Jack Michael McLaughlin. Thanks for the memories, Sean Jay. William Marvel Nichols. I 
seniors. Congratulations, class of 2020. Stay safe. Winter Brandt. I want to thank all my wonderful teachers, especially Mr. Nidell, Coach K, and Miss Keegan. Garrett J. Grant. I love my mom and my grandpa. Vera Summer Salage. Thank you to my family and friends for helping me along the way. I cannot wait for next year. Pony up. Isabella Betancourt. Thank you to all my friends and family. Congratulations, class of 2020. Christian Carpio Vasquez. To everyone who made this possible, thank you and congratulations to John Jay's class of 2020. Jack Leffler. Maxwell Arthur Buckman. Congratulations, class of 2020. Phoebe May Shaw. Thank you to all my friends and family and to the teachers that encouraged me. Luce Geiner. Jack Denny Brown. Congratulations, 2020 seniors. We made it. Violet Faith Miller Coyle. Lily Oyen. Thank you to both of my parents for supporting me always. And congratulations, class of 2020. We did it. Zachary P. Kempen. Thanks, John Jay. It's been a great five years. Emma Ray Finney. Thank you, Officer Secret and Miss Benz, for everything you helped me with. Caroline Talene Martirosian. Thanks, John Jay. Nicholas Alfred Caviola. I'd like to thank my family and friends for making my high school experience so enjoyable. Sam Miller. I'd like to thank everyone who's helped me along the way, and congratulations to the class of 2020. Jordan Caruso. It's not even halfway through 2020 yet, and it's such a roller coaster. I just wanted to thank my parents and my favorite teacher, Mr. Saloon, for the best senior year I could ask for. Ryan Nathaniel Wallach. Thank you to my teachers and parents for making it a great four years. Gabriela De Chico. Congratulations, everyone. On to the next chapter of our lives. Michael Figoli. I'm Michael Figoli, and insert inspirational quote here. Maximus Davis Moralia. Am I late? Where is everybody? It's at Caramore, right? My diploma, thank you. Madison and Kylie. Olivia Charity Berenson. I'd like to thank my teachers, my parents, and everyone who made the last four years amazing. Taylor Hoffman. Thanks, John Jay, for the great memories. Did you get that? Jesse Maida Schulman. Thank you to my friends and family. Good luck, everyone. Christopher Rueda. I have attended four years of high school. Sam Posner. Thank you to my parents, teachers, and coaches for helping me get here. James Meekall. Bye, John Jay. I'm looking forward to studying architecture in the UK. Liam Kirby. Thank you. I've enjoyed the ride. Goodbye. 
Goldie Ceiling. Thank you to my friends, family, and teachers. Congrats, everyone, and good luck. Daniel Levinson. Alana Jolie Hope Proskin. I wanted to thank my friends and family for always supporting me through high school. Avery Boniface. Congrats, class of 2020. Thanks for all the memories. Caitlin Weiss. Thank you to my friends and my family. Andrea Morgan Schulman. Thank you to my teachers, friends, and family. I couldn't have done it without you all. Mackenzie Teresa Spieler. John Zavetta. I'd like to thank my mom, my dad, and my favorite teacher, Mr. Nostasi. Let's go, baby. Charlotte Sky Wilmot. Congratulations, everyone. Thank you to my family, teachers, and coaches, and go Jay. Brooke Aaron Goldstein. Thank you, John Jay, for letting me graduate a year early. Madison McGinnis. Thank you to all my friends, family, and teachers over the past four years. Congratulations. Lucas J. Mercer. Congrats, class of 2020, and John Jay, thank you for the memories. John G. O'Dwyer. Thank you to my family. Congratulations, class of 2020, and let's go Mountaineers. George Lombardi. Thanks for a great four years. Now it's time to hit the road. Go Jack. Damian Friend. Here's to our future endeavors. Connor Lynch. Thank you, friends, family, and teachers for a good four years at John Jay. Sebastian Dagenhard. I'd like to thank the two beings that got me here. Sorry, Mom and Dad. Drew Shapiro. Fellas, we did it. Tyler Leitner. Thank you to my family and my teachers for getting me to where I am today. Go class of 2020. Woo! Ashley Brennan. <laughs> Lars Foley Carlson. Emma Christina Lombardi. Thank you to my family. Congrats to the rest of the class of 2020. We are... Jules Haley Dembo. I want to say thank you to my family for all the support they've given me over the last four years. Congrats, class of 2020. Henry DeGrasse. Christopher W. Picherny. James Loeb. Thank you to my family and everyone who helped me succeed in high school, and I'm excited to continue my next chapter at James Madison University. Christopher Castellan. I want to thank my family, friends, teachers, and coaches for making the last four years a memorable experience. Charles Anthony Ostreicher. Congrats to the class of 2020. Thank you to my family, friends, and teachers. Go Blue Devils. Miranda Adelina Vinsky. I'd like to thank my friends, my parents, and John Jay. Go Valley. McQuaid Jongmin Shin. 
This isn't the way I wanted to graduate, but uh, thank you to all my friends and family for making this possible. Samantha Madison Kaplan. Congratulations, class of 2020. <laughs> Aiden Melbourne. Kelly Nolan. I want to thank my teachers and my family and Roll Indians. Zoe Averill. Amelia Ellen. Robert Skrilov. Kendall Miller. I want to congratulate the class of 2020. I want to thank everyone for all the support I've gotten here throughout this whole year, and I know big things are ahead of us. Max Letterman Grismala. Mmm, school. Aiden Cryan. Congratulations, class of 2020. Tess Ilana Greenspan. Thank you to all my family and friends that supported me along the way. We did it! <laughs> Kevin Crane. All right. Thank you to the class of 2020 for the great memories over the four years. Michael Fassert. Congratulations, class of 2020. Thanks for all the memories. Robert Chang. Congrats, class of 2020. I'd like to thank my family and teachers. Ava Stemple. Hi, John Jay. Thanks for the last four years and for all the friends and memories I've made. I hope everyone does really well in college, and I'll see you at CAM. Isabel F. Stobin. Thank you to all my friends and teachers. Bye, John Jay. Micah Hansenbrook. I wish each and every one of you the best of luck, no matter where your path may take you. Morgan Olivia Faust. Gingy Dinner. Congrats to the class of 2020. I'd like to thank my family, my friends, and my teachers. Joseph McCormick. I just want to say thank you to everyone who's helped me in the past four years. I had an amazing time at John Jay High School. Jack Mango. I would like to acknowledge my family, peers, teachers, and mentors. Owen Flynn. Elisabetta Berisha. I want to say thank you to my family for supporting me and for helping me get to where I am today. Damar Hasman. Congratulations, everyone. I'm so excited for all of us. I hope you all have a great summer. Good luck next year. Andrew Thomas Matthews. Congratulations, seniors. Benjamin Brevetti. Thank you to all my friends and family. Go Union. Samuel Teich. Thanks so much to my family. Congrats to all the graduates and go Panthers. Steven Ingersoll. Memories, John Jack. 